Alright, start off by going into your input folder, the actions. Right click and make a new input action for grab. Open that up. Add two new triggers, one for pressed and one for released. Save that, close that. Go back and open the default, add a new mapping for your grab and you can click this little keyboard and click whatever key on your keyboard that you want. Save that, close that. Go into your character blueprint, the viewport and add a scene component. And then select your character and add a physics handle. Compile, save that, open the event graph, add a new variable for grabbing object. Then you want to search for that IA underscore grab input action. Get your scene component and your follow camera. From the scene component, get the world location. From the follow camera, get the forward vector. From the forward vector, you want to multiply and then convert this to a float. I'm going to do 300. Then from the world location, you want to add and add these together. From the triggered, you want to do a line trace by channel and plug the world location of the scene into the start and the other one into the end. Then we're going to hold B and click to get a branch and plug this in. From the out hit, you want to break the hit result. Then you want to get your physics handle. Grab component at location and rotation. Plug this into the true. Plug your hit component into the component and then get the world location and get the world rotation. Plug these in. Then you want to set your variable to true. Now we're going to go down to the completed, get another branch with your grabbing object as the condition. Get your physics handle. Release component into the true. And then you want to set your grabbing object variable back to false. Now you want to get the tick event. Get another branch with your grabbing object as the condition. Get your physics handle. Set target location and rotation into the true. Then you can go up here and copy all these and paste them down here. Plug this into the location. And then from your follow camera, you want to get the world rotation and plug that in. Now you compile save. Close that. And I have these five cubes here. I'm going to select them all, scroll down, and enable simulate physics. Save that and now test it out. So if I hold G, I could pick these up. I'll let go and it goes back. You can stack them. Do whatever you want. Thanks for watching.